The Ling Shan insertion remains nominally a U.S. covert operation. You're gonna be my eyes and ears out there, Prophet. Keep your team alive by all means. That's a loyalty I fully understand. I applaud it, in fact. But your primary function is to report back to me. If you can, bring back samples. If you can't, just come back alive and tell me what you saw. It's the data that's key now. The nanosystems, but we're on borrowed time here, all of us. Time for the whole human race to wake up. Systems recovering. Corrosive agents isolated. Base functions impaired. Rerouting primary power systems. Please wait. All right, I'm getting a limited fee from your suit, son, but for now it'll have to do. I don't believe we've been introduced. Jack Hardry, at your service. I don't doubt Nathan Gould will have mentioned my name, but I'm bound to assume he didn't have much good to say about me. But we have other, more pressing concerns right now. We have to get you weaponized and up to speed. So, you're currently standing not far from the diseased bureaucratic heart of the city. And while you'd think airlifting all the politicians out should have a cleansing effect, sadly what's replaced them isn't any better. But don't take my word for anything. Why should you? Trust must be earned. Go on and see for yourself. I'll guide you as best I can. But you've got to get right down into that filthy, diseased heart. There's something down there you're going to need. Primary systems rerouted. Clear to proceed. And here, it seems, the VIPs were indeed processed, as befits their status. <laughs> Cleaning up. Argentine cattle crisis two years ago, or the British BSE outbreak in the last century. The issue was not slaughtering the animals, that was easily done. The problem was disposal. What do you do with the millions of rotting corpses? Well, there you see the answer the SEF have evolved. They wipe us out, they break us down, they reduce the environmental impact almost to zero. Exemplary.
You see, all part of the same biomass processing system. For what purpose? Well, that is quite the question. Repulsive, yes, but quite fascinating. Radio Free Manhattan. 